Hey y'all, thanks for stopping by. So, I'd like to talk today about gun safety. And now I know a little bit ago I've made a video about, I call it the three types of people in the gun discussion. Most of these people, there's one group of them, the people who know how guns work, who are going to be actually really safe with their guns when it comes to like storage and things like that. The people who like guns, honestly, some of them probably do lock their guns up and actually use saves, but I feel like a lot of these people, it's kind of using guns as decoration, almost, if that sounds right. But, you know, like, that whole hanging a shotgun over the mantle, that kind of stuff not the safest thing to do but honestly if you're gonna hang guns up like that there are safe ways to do it so that's what this video is about today of course if you're watching the news there was an incident in michigan where a student brought a handgun to his school and took some people with him of course the kids what 15 or 16 when that happened so he obviously didn't go into a store and buy it himself. That's not the law. You know, 21 and older for the law. What's weird about it, of course, is information's coming out. It definitely seems like the father brought the kid in the store with him, purchased the pistol, strictly meant for that child. Um, that's obviously illegal, if, if you don't know that. Um, that's called a straw purchase, which basically just means that I'm buying something, I'm filling out the paperwork, but I'm not the one who's keeping this gun. It's a straw purchase, it's a scarecrow, that whole thing, yeah. Um, so, if the laws don't matter when it comes to these people buying these guns and just giving them away, safety is the next important thing. I'm not expecting much from someone who buys guns like this to actually be safe with their firearms. But this is, video isn't about them. This video is about you and how you should be safe. So, first things first. For me, I don't have kids. I don't have, there's no one in my house I'm worried about grabbing my guns, anything like that. A lot of people will complain about using a safe for their firearms because if I if it's an emergency how am I going to know I'll be able to operate my safe in time and to that I have one response if you are too panicked to operate a safe in an emergency I don't think you'll be capable of operating a firearm during an emergency the same thing when it comes to firearms how I'll tell people they need to train yes you should do that with your safe you should make sure you know how to open it in any condition because that's what it's there for, right? It's there to keep your stuff in until you want it out. So yeah, you should train on how to open your safe. Absolutely. Um, the other thing, I was talking about it a little bit ago when it comes to the people who hang up guns and use them as decoration. Depending on the gun, I can understand something like that. You know, if it's an older firearm, if it's got some sentimental value to you, sure, by all means. There is an easy way to hang these guns up, though, and to still be safe. Disable it. But I know that doesn't, that might sound weird. Take out the firing pin. Take out something crucial in the fire control group. Take out anything that'll make it so you would have to do some minor gunsmithing to get that gun to work again. That way, if it's actually stolen off your wall, like let's just say worst case scenario, a home invasion type situation, you're not getting someone who's just gonna walk into your living room and just immediately upgrade to a 12 gauge shotgun because you decided it looked really cool over your fireplace. Disable the firearm before you hang them up like that. Uh, if you don't have the option to buy a safe, I do realize that they get expensive for a good one. Um, yeah, I get that. Um, I'm not going to say that you should, there's no way you should own a gun unless you have a safe. 
But if you have kids in your house, if you have, I won't even just say go so far as kids. I'll say anybody who you have any questions about that they might take something like that accident on purpose, you know, childlike wonder doesn't matter. If you don't have a safe and you're not in the habit of disabling your firearms every time you put them up, you need to do something to make it extremely hard for those to go off accidentally. And I used to make fun of Canadians for this when I first heard about it, but if you keep your ammo and your gun separate, and the magazine separate from them, that makes it a whole lot harder for an accident to happen. That means you have to intentionally take your firearm, take it to another location, grab your magazine, put them together, rack it back before you can shoot anything. I used to think that was ridiculous when I heard that Canadians had to do that to own firearms, but it works. Something like that can make it a lot easier. It, it adds so many more steps to this accidental type of injury and death when it comes to firearms. Now, of course, when you're dealing with someone who buys a gun for someone who can't legally purchase one, lets them keep possession of it, and then, I mean, you're kind of running out of options there. You've, you've lost the ability to try and make things safe when you've already done the most dangerous things possible that you could do with a firearm. Again, this video isn't about people who buy guns for people illegally. This gun, this video is about every other type of person who owns guns. It's just easy ways to be safe with your stuff. Yeah. And I know some of you don't like guns. And I'll be honest with you, I get it. But firearms are a uniquely American problem that, unfortunately, aren't really going to go anywhere. We're going to keep seeing stories like this until people actually start taking safety seriously. And I hope it doesn't come with a lot of rules, regulations, and mandates. I would like people just to work it out themselves and, you know, actually be able to do the right thing. But these last two years with COVID and all that, I really don't know if y'all are capable. But yeah. If y'all feel any kind of way about gun safety, if you know anybody who acts wild when it comes to putting stuff in saves or anything like that, try and show them this video. Or, you know, hey, just send them my way so I can yell at them some. Don't, don't worry yourself with it. But y'all have a good day.